Okay, good morning. I guess we can see um, it's not going to be a fun video. So, if you don't want to see somebody crying on film, then this is not the video for you. <laughs> I'm just going to come and tell you because so many of you have been following along my journey. And it's just easier for me to come on and just do a, a little quick video to let you know. Um, you know that they typically put me in for surgery on June the 22nd. Well, yesterday, uh, my surgeon's assistant called, and I'm sorry, my <laughs> ears are <laughs> doing that thing, um, and said that he wanted a telephone phone call with me today. So I told my husband, I'm like, well, they say no news is good news, so this can't be good news. And he, the um, review committee, the spine review committee meets on Monday. So he said he didn't think he could get me in yesterday, but he thought maybe next week it would be. So I told David, I'm like, nah, he got me in and, and they turned me down. And he goes, you, you can't think that. I'm like, well, I've learned over my life that if you don't get your hopes up high, you don't have as far to fall when you get them dashed. So... Y'all know I'm a pessimist. <laughs> and days like this, it works out to be one. I'll just be honest. <laughs> he said that he presented my case strategically. That, that was his word. He said, I presented it strategically. He said, I thought they would see the amount of pension that's in there and know that it would be well for you to get that taken care of. That. You had lost 23 pounds since you saw me in January, and I thought that was wonderful, and I thought they would think so too, but they're just like all the other ones. Lose more weight. <laughs> they they didn't put a, like a number on it. There's no number. Um, I have to meet with Duke's bariatric team of, you know, what whatever. He said, you know, I'm not leaving you. He said, we're going to work this together. He said, I will write letters. I will, you know, do what I have to do. He said, I respect their opinion. He said that it was always going to be, you know, the possibility. So right now he's going to set me up with what, whatever that is up there. I don't know. He said, and they'll, you know, know if they can do something, if they can't. I honestly don't know if it's like to diet or, or surgery, I don't know what their um, position on it will be. What would they look at me and my lifestyle? I guess, and you know what I've tried and what I haven't tried. Which I don't know what I haven't tried, and to try to figure out a plan. But you know what? <laughs> it still doesn't give me hope because we don't fall off overnight. So. I don't have a clue when I might get this fixed and get my life back. So I'm, uh, I'm really, really bummed. And I'm sorry to be such a big baby on camera, but when you talk to your friends, you're just who you are. And this is who I, who I am. So uh, I am so sorry. I didn't foresee any other time to come and tell you that I wouldn't be a, a blubbering mess. So, whether it's now while I'm fresh off the phone or later when I've had time to settle down, it's still going to be the same because I'm just so disappointed. I guess I'm disappointed that I allowed myself to get so big that now it has affected something so important that I didn't know would happen. Because y'all know, I don't have a problem being a big person. As far as my looks, I would like to be smaller, wear cuter clothes and all this and that. You know, I would like to be smaller because it would feel better. But I don't have a problem being big from a looking at me kind of standpoint. So it was never a huge priority for me. I've tried, you know, all the things to lose the weight. But 
I was always healthy when I was doing it. So I wasn't really doing it for health. I wasn't really doing it to look better. I don't know why I was doing it. Maybe a little bit of everything, but not enough of one thing to make it work. Because it's hard. Anybody tells you it ain't hard. I wish I could say it wasn't hard. Dealing with food is hard. It's, it, it's just food. But oh my God, the power it has over us. If this was easy, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you two years later being turned down for a necessary surgery because I'm too fat. So, I don't, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. I'll just have one more hook in front of me, and I'm just going to have to jump through it and do do the best that I can. But I'm going to tell you what, I just, I don't know what's going to happen, and I'm, I'm just bummed about it. So, <laughs> thanks for all y'all's thoughts and prayers, and always being so kind, kind to me. <laughs> and uh, that's all. I'll talk to you later.